Hey, Sam, isn't the view from up here amazing? Yeah, it sure is a pretty good looking crowd. But have you been to the top of Long's Peak in Rocky Mountain National Park? Now that's an amazing view. Our first honorees, Enos Mills and F.O. Stanley, knew the value of Estes Park before it became a famous Colorado destination. Please turn your attention to the video to learn a little bit more about Enos Mills and F.O. Stanley. Celebrating its 100th birthday, Rocky Mountain National Park is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the state. At the heart of the park's creation are two unlikely partners, Enos Mills and F.O. Stanley. They were the citizen activists and sort of the catalyst for making this happen, but they also uh, we're really creating an early model of how it is to work between government and citizens and interest groups. Enos Abijah Mills was born on April 22, 1870 in Lynn County, Kansas. Enos Mills came here uh, in 1884 as a young boy of 14 from a farm in eastern Kansas suffering from a wheat allergy. Enamored with the area, Enos built a small cabin that is now a museum. And while immersed in the deep woods, he became infatuated with wildlife. He was one of the first people in Colorado to actually study the wildlife more scientifically than the trappers or hunters had. While traveling, a chance meeting in San Francisco would change Enos's life. And that man was John Muir, uh, and the influence of that meeting was profound on Mills. It took a, f a young man who was rather aimless in his career ambitions and goals and turned him into one of the leading conservationists and preservationists of his time. Muir encouraged Enos to write of his adventures in the wilderness. People were amazed to read about a young man living in the deep, dark heart of the Rockies without a gun by himself. He was tireless, intelligent, committed, well-connected, not afraid to ask people for things. Enos had a lot of help in his drive to create Rocky Mountain National Park. One of those was F.O. Stanley. Freeland Oscar Stanley and his twin brother Francis Edgar Stanley were born in Kingfield, Maine in 1849. They definitely had an entrepreneurial mind and this inventor's mind from the get-go, even when they were kids. The Stanley brothers invented dry plate photography, a revolutionary idea that led to how photos are captured today. Uh, and when they sold that uh, company, the Stanley Dry Plate Company, in 1904, uh, they sold it to George Eastman of Eastman Kodak. About 1900, they began to dabble in automobiles, and it was while they were working automobiles that uh, F.O. Stanley came down with a recurring case of tuberculosis. And in those days, where there was no known cure, uh, people were often sent to the mountains. When F.O. came to Estes Park, there was barely a wagon trail up the mountain, but he was determined to drive his steamer all the way to prove that a car could make it. Uh, he invests in the town, he becomes the first president of the bank, it gives us our water system, our electrical power system. If there was something that were for the good of mankind um, and he had the means to help make something happen, he would do it. If there was a kid here locally that wanted to go to college and they couldn't afford it, he would go ahead and give them their tuition. We built the Stanley Hotel, all 11 miles, an, an audacious undertaking. F.O. Stanley was a very large supporter of making the infrastructure of Estes Park available for tourists while Enos wanted to make the natural environment and the wilderness available for tourists. Two more unlikely individuals on the surface. Uh, F.O. Stanley, uh, the man from the east, always impeccably dressed in eastern fashion. And Enos Mills, a man of the west, who really was happiest when he was out on the trail with his guests at the inn talking about nature. But they came together over at, with a, in a group called the Estes Park Protective and Improvement Association. Uh, Mills took the message across the country, uh, lobbying uh, uh, various political groups. And F.O. Stanley, again with that mind frame of, is it good for everybody, um, basically said, I'll, I'll go ahead and help finance this. Rocky Mountain National Park was established in 1915 with an act in Congress signed by Woodrow Wilson. 100 years later, Colorado's gift to the nation has benefited millions of visitors from around the country and the world. 
Now we are here to rededicate this special place for the benefit and enjoyment of all Americans for the next 100 years. What their actions and their vision has resulted in uh, for this state and this place and this country is truly amazing. Please give a round of applause for the incredible accomplishments of Enos Mills and F.O. Stanley.